are not new to the sport and you've been playing tournaments, we've all seen that guy who shows up and you're like, what are you going to throw on this hole? And every single time, thummer, tomahawk, thummer. And you're like, that's stupid. And then he parks every hole, goes over the top of the trees, and it's just aggravating. You're like, you hit the first tree because you're trying to make this sweet shot. And he's like, I'll just go over the top and get the birdie every time. You're like, oh, I hate this. I hate this game. I quit. What's up, disc golfers? Jake Lepucka here. Time for a fun video. If you've been following the series, you probably can tell that I'm trying to convince you that I'm good at disc golf. But today, that's not the case. Oh boy, this one's gonna be fun. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. You can unsubscribe at any time when you're sick of seeing my face. So do that. Hit that like button too. You know why, because I'm trying to hit my like goal. This week's like goal, 35. We didn't hit last week's light goal, but I'm so motivated on this series, I still want to get the next video out there for you guys. So, I did something I've been trying not to do, and that's this disc right here. This is a new disc for the series. It's a DX Valkyrie. You can tell it doesn't have the beautiful artwork on it, like my leopard. And also, I bought two more discs. Also, no beautiful artwork. What the heck? These are called factory second discs. These are cheaper, great for beginners. Um, the story behind them is basically they didn't quite pass Quality Ashwitz, sorry office fans, quality assurance, but they still are going to work and function normal. You get them at a cheaper price. These are champion discs, should be like 15 or 16 bucks or like $9.99 on Infinite. And the DX one, like $4.99. So these are going to be new to the series. The Leopard 3, Shark 3, these are kind of variations of the Leopard and Shark. I thought they would be a great upgrade. And this is a distance driver, the Valkyrie. The Valkyrie held the world distance record, Christian Sandstrom. So I figured this would be a great high speed driver to add into the mix. Enough rambling, let's get right down to it. Today, we're gonna be learning a brand new disc golf shot. I've been wanting to do this for a really long time. If you have a baseball background, I definitely recommend trying these shots, but it's an overhand throw. There are two types of overhand throws. There's the thumber and the tomahawk. So if you throw a disc like a baseball, it's not really round like a baseball. So the thumber is where your thumb is on the underside of the disc. I don't know if the grip is correct, so you can correct me if I'm wrong. This is how I was throwing it, thumb on the inside. And then for tomahawks, it's just turn around. So I used a forehand grip. I don't know if that's right. Like I said, I'm learning a new shot today. Let's go try these things out. Hey, yo, future Jake here with the voiceover. We're going to try a thumber and a tomahawk today. Clearly, that's not what I'm doing here. I am throwing my putters and my sharks to get a distance read. Now, this is kind of like taking steps to measure your putting. These throws are going to give me a good kind of idea for how far I'm getting these overhand throws out there but your first tip today is if you're learning a new shot you need to warm up with what you know I think that the overhand is similar to a forehand so I'm gonna warm up with some forehands so of course I gotta flex a little bit with this nice turning Roadrunner forehand very nice so basically my biggest concern here was my shoulder I have attempted tomahawks and thumbers in the past and just totally destroyed my shoulder. Now, I totally have been working out a little bit and actually strengthening my shoulders, and I was pretty proud of how I uh, how I performed here. The thumber is definitely more natural to me because it feels more like an Anheuser uh, forehand shot, and so a lot of these I was pretty happy with, uh, regardless of the fact that they're going maybe 125 feet at the most. Um, but anyways, I used lightweight fairway drivers just to get a feel for it. Now, I don't know if I could get more distance out of like distance drivers or whatever, but oh, that was, see, that was really low. I was going for like the Matt Dollar thumber there. Oh, maybe he throws tomahawks. I don't know. But I used lightweight fairway drivers just to get a feel for how they're flying. And clearly the thumber falls out to the right. It fades to the right. Most of my shots were, I was a little surprised at how far right they landed. Moving on to the tomahawk shot. Same thing, I'm going to throw my putters and my sharks out there just to get a feel for the distance. Um, the thumbers 
basically every single one landed short of the shortest putter. So, as a frame of reference, my backhand at about 40% power is just exceptionally better than this thumber throw. But the point of learning this shot is more for utility. I want to be able to get out of trouble any way I can. So distance is not really an issue here. I just want to learn the technique and develop that muscle strength so I can even try to begin to throw these. All right, well, it's now for the real fun to begin. Oh the tomahawk throw. This was just a total struggle for me from start to finish. That was, that was a good looking one right there. My main issue, and I looked it up after this field work session, was that I was throwing the disc too vertically. So you're gonna see a lot of that mistake here. See right there, the disc lands on its top. Now, I don't think that's a bad thing. I've seen people do that. <laughs> There's that first one. I was trying to plant on my right foot. I was like, maybe that's how you do it. It's definitely the left foot. I mean, unless I'm just so bad at this. But here's just me throwing bad tomahawk after bad tomahawk. So I felt so bad about my tomahawks. I took this leopard and I was like, I just need to throw a backhand. And so that made me feel a lot better, even though it's, you know, it wasn't a crush by any means. So I picked up this Valkyrie. That was my longest shot. That finally got the disc to turn over. And so as you can tell, I'm just, I continue to have that issue of just throwing the disc too vertically and then it just pans and falls straight oh to the God. ground. I may be getting 100 okay. feet out of this, guys. So here's the leopard, last throw, not great. So I definitely need work on these. Where are my channel heroes at? From the last few weeks, you guys are here. If you made it this far in the video, oh, I didn't think of anything. Um, um, uh, what's, I didn't think of anything. Misty, what is it? What Harry Potter house are you in? What Harry Potter house are you in? Great suggestion. Let me know. Take the test. If not, you could just be like, I don't know, uh, Gryffindor, but that's lame. Nobody's in Gryffindor. Just Harry Potter. Except Nessa. And Nessa, I guess. Well, guys, that's going to do it for episode six of Disc Golf Declassified. Make sure and hit the like button if you haven't already. We're trying to hit these like goals, so come on, help me out. What are you doing? She hates this. She really hates this. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Get out of here. Tell your friends, my subscriber count is growing steadily. You guys, thank you so much for that. I'm having a lot of fun, so smash that like button if you want to see episode 7 next week. But if we don't hit the like goal, I might have to look at something else for next week's video. But you know I'll be here next Friday. See you guys next time. Gotta fix my COVID mask beard. Because I totally had that during the outro. Anyways, here's some bloopers for you guys. We didn't hit last week's white. Why don't hold up? Hurrah, hurrah. <coughs> oh, COVID. We're all dead. Get fast. She's gonna run away. This is my cat. She will always run away. But I picked her up anyways. Oh, wow. That actually, like, significantly changes. Where should we go with? Purple? Kind of like purple. Red's terrible. Purple? What if we... What if we turn this light off? Oh, spooky. But we're going to leave it on. Definitely leave it on.